Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a world where Germany lost World War I, where today I will be playing Hungary. And the plan today is to rebuild Hungary, or what it used to be, so let's get to it by doing some stabilization thingies. Just, you know, stabilize our economy and get it up and running. Tensions in Transylvania. Time to supply them with a few guns. Ah yes, with the economy rebuilt, it's time for rearmament. What? The Czechs and the Germans are at war. <laughs> Why did that happen? The Czechs were taken out without even a single thought. Meanwhile, Turkey and Greece are at it again. We have accrued a large army, so that we can now finally renounce the Treaty of Trianon and slowly start regaining our lands back. Now, I just need the, our neighbors not to join the Stahlpakt. With the Treaty of Trianon renounced, I will now demand the return of Alpha. Just kidding, I won't. I actually have to jo join the Stahlpakt so we can might get Bergenland. Soon we will join the Stahlpakt and once we do that we can start the conquest of our neighbors. Well, our former land really. Now that we are in the Stahlpakt, I will demand Bergenland and hope that Germany doesn't claim Austria before we get Bergenland. Interestingly enough, the Austrians decided not to give us Bergenland, so I guess Germany gets Ans Anschluss soon. Not all right here at the gates of Vienna, which... I mean, it isn't surprising, but still, we're about to take it any minute now. I have broken through the major choke points, I guess, and now it's all just about the Germans finishing them off in Innsbruck. I will just take Bergenland and let German take the rest. Yay, we can take Bergenland now and uh, let German take the rest. With Bergenland secured, I... It's time for us to take Slovakia out fully, not just south, we'll continue to take the rest of it. Hey, we got south Slovakia, now let's get the rest of it. Good news everybody, Slovakia joined the Stahlpakt. <laughs> Hopefully Romania will give us their land. We will demand Transylvania straight after because, I mean, I don't want them joining the Stahlpakt just like Slovakia did, so let's hope that they don't. The demands have been sent to Romania, let's just hope they accept because... Actually, I don't care. We're gonna win either way. We have Germany on our side. Oh no, I guess we have to go to war with Romania now. What are we going to do? <laughs> Our invasion isn't going exactly great, but it's not going bad either since we don't have supply lines, but at least we have the numerical advantage, so there's that. You guys remember the guns we sent to <laughs> the Hungarians living in Transylvania ages ago? Well, they have risen up and now we'll just run up muck on their front lines. The fighting in Transylvania is very brutal, but we are making some progress, slowly but surely. Now the only thing that remains is just pushing into Muntenia and Oltenia, so let's hope for the best. We are just in front of Bucharest, and with a bit of luck we could take it, but I doubt we will. <laughs> you guys remember me doubting? I will never doubt myself again. <laughs> now. I think we are going to destroy them finally since they are on their last legs of resistance and yeah, they don't really stand a chance, do they? So, Germany started World War II over Denmark and Schleswig. We're not gonna join it since Romania is staying out of it. We're just gonna declare war on Serbia later on, don't worry. I forgot how annoying Führer I can be having to destroy every single unit of theirs and just take every province. Is Germany actually going to lose the war? Okay, we need to finish off the Romanians ASAP. <laughs> What's wrong with Germany? They're just losing on the southern front. Like, they somehow pushed through the Alps. I might have finally done it. We might be able to finally defeat the Romanians, but we're still a bit away, so let's give it some time. With the Romanians on their last legs, I will try to take out this pocket and simultaneously attack this one, so we might get lucky and take out a few divisions, one or two at best, but it's better than nothing. So about after a year of just menacingly looking at each other, still nothing has happened, just our garrisons seem to be fully equipped out, that means our troops can get equipped now, and we can finally do the final push. The final battle of Romania, hopefully we win it, and... Yeah, it does appear we are gonna at least get a few of their troops killed, but just do it again and it should do something. 
Yeah, it's over. It's finally over, boys. We have won the great Hungarian-Romanian war. <laughs> finally. With the Hungarian conquest, we'll focus on an offensive air force for now. Also, we'll release Romania. I think we'll get, like, this border, so we should be fine. Ah, yes. That's a puppet nobody expected. Hungarian-Romania. It's time for us to reclaim our coast and just attack Serbia. Serbia shall be no more. Once they... well, just... oh. Yeah, now we can declare war on them. Just go full speed ahead and defeat them. We are finally breaking through the... well, finally, we just begun the war. We are already breaking through their front lines, we have already crossed the Jarava river, so we should be good. One tactical maneuver that I will try to do is cut them off in Croatia and Slovenia, just go through the border and that should encircle a good amount of their troops, shouldn't it? I will call in Bulgaria, just for the sake of it, they should be able to absolutely turn the tide of the war and just end it really. With the Serbian resistance crushed in the north, we have taken Belgrade and they should be capitulating somewhat soon now. I don't think they have much of a force left, so GG. Hey, Serbia capitulated. I think it's time for take, well, what is rightfully Hungarian. Now we need fi the final piece to our puzzle, which is Slovakia. I doubt we'll get it anytime soon, but I am thinking of just waiting for the Germans to lose and then we ask for Slovakia. As much as I want to liberate them, I want to keep this territory, so I'm sorry, Serbia. It's time to do the fate of Slovakia focus and hope that they just give up and give themselves to us since our army is considerably larger than theirs, but if they don't, we're kind of screwed, aren't we? Surely this spells the end of the war. Now that the Germans have declared war on Belgium, it will be over in a minute. <laughs> no way. Slovakia actually accepted. Now we can join the war against the Allies and just push real hard into their territory. We have pushed them already out of Dalmatia. However, we need to push into Italy and then into France. What's this? Ah yes, as much as it seems a good idea to arm the Slovaks, I don't think we will. We have already taken Trieste and pushed the Italians out of Istria. So, if we're lucky, we will be able to push through the Italian lines without a problem and cut off this entire pocket up in the north. We have been able to push deep into Italy, but it appears we have come to a bit of a stop. I will try to push at a few key points, but we will see. Hey, we're actually just stomping around in Italy now, just going on a vacation to Rome. Dude, no way will the Italians just let us walk into Rome. Yeah, they did. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Oh damn, the Italians straight up flipped. You all know what that means? Just rush all of our divisions to the front with France and attack them. Let's just launch an all-out offensive into France now. Nothing bad can come out of it, can it? I'm pretty sure that any French resistance at this point is futile and there's no point in them fighting anymore, is there? No, 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 no. The only thing remaining really are their exile governments, which is kind of an annoying mechanic by the Führer Reich. So, the French aren't doing too well, are they? We're a few tiles away from Paris and we have almost united with the German front. The only real question here is, do I trust the Germans enough for me to pull back and just finish their encirclement for them? No, I don't. At this point, I am more than certain that we will be the first to enter Paris. They don't really stand a chance, do they? Considering we're already in Orleans, they're just... Mm. Come on, just walk right over. You don't need to fight the Italian East Africans. No, wait, it's the French West Africans. Who cares? One of the colonies. Just take Paris already. You guys support. You walk in. You take Versailles. <laughs> we have done it. 
we did what the Germans couldn't, and that is take Paris. Considering our manpower, I'm just gonna focus on maybe dealing with this whole pocket here. Okay, the Germans are going for it, we will go for it too. Bro, we're about to get a hundred divisions in circle. That's insane. Yeah, it's time to destroy a hundred divisions. Hold up, Germany declared war on the Soviets. Why? Why are you throwing away our victory? <laughs> Since the Germans are being pushed back in the west, I will redeploy my army there. And hopefully we can just retake the territory we lost. And kick the French out of Europe. At least we're pushing the French out of the continent. Meanwhile, the Germans are also at war with the Spanish since they are in the c common turn or something. And luckily for us, the Italians, well, the German Italians, weren't able to take care of the <laughs> unrest, so we have a bit of a rebellion on our hands, which we will crush swiftly. I will focus on defeating France and hopefully not capitulating to the Italians, because that would be really dumb. We have crushed the Italian invasion. And at the same time, we have pushed the French back considerably, but thanks to our troops going through Italy, we are in a major deficit with both guns and cannons. Hold up, we're at war with Switzerland now. I mean, I get why, but still, why? <laughs> okay, the Germans are doing some progress in the north, but... How are we going to capitulate France and Italy? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna end the video here since the end of the war is just a matter of when, not of if. So yeah, we have reformed Hungary. Hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all had fun watching it. Otherwise, I wish you a very nice rest of your day. And until next time, bye.